Oh boy. Hi everyone, Renegade68 here with Let's play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Case 2, talking about sisters. And um Mia Why they kill her off right away now? But um yeah, I have things to say about this case. Uh why do they spoil the killer of the second case as well? The first case, whatever, no one cares. Second case, that's like half the game. Well, let's count that one case that doesn't exist. Um, yeah, two of the four cases they spoil the the killer, and it's why. Yeah, well, I have a lot of problems with this case actually. It it does a lot of introducing, which I mean, it introduces a lot of plot important characters, but it it's just uh, it's so bad in my opinion. Uh, probably the worst case in this game. Um. Yeah, of the four of them, it's probably the worst. Anyways, uh... Uh-oh, I'm late! Huh, that's strange. The chief, the chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Via! Maybe she's in her office! Uh, maybe she's alive! Ha! <laughs> uh, examine? Oh my god, there's a painting. Painting. What? I can't examine anything. I thought you could. I smell blood, and I can't- Oh! <laughs> On you, Phoenix. Don't doubt my curiosity. Fine. Let's go to the scene of the crime. Smell. Blood! <laughs> Sis, someone's there. Who could this be? <gasps> she is she a hippie? Chief, chief, chief. <laughs> Snake. That's what I always think of when I see that scene. Who are you? Who are you? I really want it. I've done that before, haven't I? Or later, or I don't. <laughs> oh, well then, two victims, one case. Let's do. No. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. Ugh. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Oh no, Phoenix, what are you thinking of? Yeah. Until finally she was cold. Chief. Okay, time to fuck her. No, I'm just. That would be very bad. That would be very, very bad. Um. Also, Christopher Walken. I was I was editing Case One, and I'm like, that's not William Shatner. It wasn't at first, at least. It was Christopher Walken. They're similar, I guess, but it was a completely different person. So I didn't solve the true mystery until just now. Okay. Um. So what's going on here? Uh, let's, let's look at her her dead boobs. <laughs> okay. Last boob joke with Mia. With Mia. This <laughs> is. You gotta point that out. Chief! It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here... She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Oh gosh! Larry, what did you do?! Hmm, there's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be some pieces of the glass light stand broken in the back of the room. Oh, glass light stand? It's probably not that important. Nothing else nothing else that seems like a clue, except for the blood letters over there! They're small, but I can see them. Piece of paper! It must have fallen from Mia's hands. What could it be? Oh well, let's examine it. <gasps> a word is written in blood on this room. Oh god! Who's Maya? She's gonna die! If this could be the work of the death no! Uh... They do say that uh, you can actually write with anything in the death note, even blood, it'll still work as long as it's 
tan tangible? Is that the word I'm looking for? As long as it still clearly writes a person's name, it still works. But uh, yeah, word is word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya, if you write this, I hate this scrap of paper so much. I'm not gonna get into why for those, you know, we don't haven't seen this case yet. But also, final warning: if you haven't seen the movie yet, go watch it. It tells the story better than the game. You get a lot of fun stuff out of the game if you've already seen the movie, but you don't get much out of the movie if you've already played the game. Um, anyways. This piece of paper is a receipt from an apartment store, dated yesterday. Receipt added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. Better call the police. Find out what that girl was doing here, the hippie. First, let's go take a look at our evidence. Uh, we got our trusty attorney's badge. Type other. One of my possessions. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. The thinker. Type weapons. Retrieved at the Fay Law Houses. The murder weapon. Looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock made by Larry Butts. Gosh. Uh, that is just two cases in a row, man. Is this gonna be like the kill, the killing weapon in all the cases? Cause that that'd be hilarious. I mean, it'd be hard to take the game seriously if that happened, but that'd be so hilarious. Glass shards, type evidence, treat the Loth Lothses, the broken remains of a glass light stand, broken beyond all recognition. Receipt, type evidence, retrieved at the Fay Lothses, department store rece receipt with letters written and blood on the back. Now if only this was Apollo Justice, this would ch save us so much trouble, and the people who played this case know why, but... Profiles, just Mia Fay. Chief Attorney at Fanco, my boss, and a very good defense attorney. Age of death, 27. Gender, female. Rest in peace. Okay, what else do we got over here? Is this the, uh, glass light and stand? Light and stand? Yes, light and stand. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. Okay. Uh, what's this? The, the plant fell over? Oh, we can't examine the plant! What about this painting? What's your problem with paintings, Phoenix? You're not an art man? I mean, I'm not, but I like examining paintings. What's this? A chair, I think? The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Oh, I, I never noticed the thinker. It's just right here. I... Honestly, I never knew that was actually... I thought it was... I thought that was... I don't know what I thought it was. It's encrusted with dry... It's encrusted! That's a fancy word, Phoenix. With dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. <laughs> uh, I got a window here. It's not really important, I don't think. Over to this side. What do we got? Um, let's just... We gotta call the phone. This is, this is important. Right! I'd better call the police. The police! That's funny. A few of the screws in the receiver are missing. I wonder why that is. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Oh boy. Who would do something like that? Probably red, white, blue. Whoever the, whatever. Probably that guy who Mia called red, white, blue because he killed her because Case 2 gave it away. Thanks, Case 2. Police? Please, come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? <gasps> Boobs! I mean... <laughs> uh, uh... Red hair in a kind of... Kind of... Flowy... Flowy fashion? <laughs> flowy fashion. And a heart! A heart right on her chest. Wow. Look at her mouth. Like, if you look at it in a special way, it's a... Oh my gosh, that's pretty creepy. I don't want to look at that anymore. She's staring right at me. Uh-oh. Shit. We're going to be found guilty of murder. She's holding a phone in her hand. This does not bode well. We are screwed. Well, don't just stand there. Examine the window, man. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Oh, Gatewater Hotel. How I love you and hate you. What? What about the woman? The police? Yeah. Phoenix, you're dumb. Go get a closer look at those. I mean, that person is probably going to be a witness. 
Um, what else do we want to examine? There's this book on the floor. Can't examine book on the floor! Phoenix, what's wrong with you? What about this page on the floor? Can't examine a page on the floor. Come on, Phoenix, step up your game. You need to be a better crime scene investigator. You'd think you weren't a detective or something. It's like that isn't your job. Gosh. Phoenix! Oh, wait, that's the name! Exclamation mark! The girl just now. Where'd she go? Uh-oh. She's the killer and she's on the run. That's gotta be it. She's trying to frame me. <laughs> then why wouldn't she have done something about the Maya in blood? <laughs> I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Maybe she thinks my name is Maya? <gasps> Hippie girl! Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um... Sup with your grandma? Excuse me, but... Who is you? Ellipses. It's okay. I work here. I won't rape you. I mean... Maya. Maya Faye. Oh, also, I know people are really touchy about rapes. Why am I bringing this up? Um, if you don't like it when I talk about raping and the boobies... Well, then mention it. Because I'm still gonna... And spoilers, I'm gonna mention it throughout this entire case because it's all gonna be recorded before I upload any. But, uh, if you don't want me doing it whenever I record Trials and Tribulations, let me know now. Maya Faye. That's her name. Maya Faye. As in Mia Faye's sister. <gasps> oh, I was so close to being able to do it to sister. No. Oh, oh, well. Maya. The name on blood. Quick, Maya, you've got to... Tell me your name is not spelt that way. Tell me it's spelled differently. You've got three more chances. <laughs> so Maya was... Mia was writing this girl's name. Phoenix, shut up. It wasn't Mia. Maybe I should show her the receipt. Even if Case 2 didn't spoil the killer. Thanks, Case 2. Um, I think it'd be pretty obvious it wasn't Mia who did that. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. That's because you're pretty dumb. No offense. You're pretty stupid. Um, alright. What do you have to say to this? Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. <gasps> Gasp. The, that's my name. Why? Why would she write my name? Um, because I'm an idiot. And she didn't. I'm sorry. Please, just calm down. Why would she write my name? Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Shit, I suck with kids. 